Hello there, hi, my name is Jabala and today I'm going to teach you a little recipe um, from Botswana. They're called maguinhas, not confused for fat cooks. These are very different, these are beautiful, they're delicious and you should all appreciate them very much. Okay, let's start this video. Yay, let's go! Okay, you're going to need yeast, obviously. You're going to need some yeast, you're going to need salt, one teaspoon of it, and then you're going to need sugar. Lots and lots of sugar, about 10 teaspoons. And of course, a nice big bowl with lots of depth. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Flour. Can't forget flour. We're going to need about three cups of this. Three. All right. We have our station ready. We're ready. Let's do this. We're going to add the whole pack of yeast right in there, followed by the 10 teaspoons of sugar. But I have a big spoon, so it's five. And then one teaspoon of salt. Just one. No need for any more. Then you're going to need some water. All right, it has to be warm. So you're going to get some water from the tap. And I would suggest boiling some hot water. Then, of course, mixing the two so that you get that perfect warm. Uh, you, you know what it is. You know when it's warm. You know it. Then you're just going to pour all of that into the mixing bowl, a whole cup, one cup of water. Now continue mixing. Make it all nice, no bubbly stuff. Then cover it up and we're going to wait. How long are you going to wait, you ask? Well, we're going to wait for five minutes. Five minutes, no more, no less. All right, all right, all right. We're going to get messy with it. We're going to add our three cups of flour. This might change. Like if you had more water than I did, you might need a little bit more flour to get to the consistency that we want. Uh, but for me, in my case, I had not enough water, as you can see. So I had to add a little bit more warm water. Thank you, Dad. Uh, just to get to the consistency you're going to see just now. As you can see, this is the consistency that we want. It has a little bit of bounce. It has that stretch. This is what we want. And you know you've got it when you have everything scraped from the sides into one little bowl. Just going to cover it up. While the dough is rising, we're going to just take some time to study. We're, no? We're going to... Netflix. <sighs> one hour later. This is how your dough is supposed to look. Look at it. Wow. Appreciate it. Now we're just going to have some oil. We're going to have quite a bit, actually. I'm so sorry. It's kind of unhealthy, but it's delicious, so don't worry. Going on, as you can see, look at the method. We're going to take a little bit, just a little bit from this dough, and then, ooh, we're going to make it into a ball. And personally, I like it in a circular shape with the circle in the middle because it allows for the oil to get everywhere and for it to cook fully. You don't want to have dough looking, you know sickly we want it to be nice and fluffy so you're going to take that fork and you're going to see it browning and then ooh, look at it look at it oh my gosh golden goodness how can you not look at it oh my gosh and you can have so many in that one bowl of dough there's so many maguinhas to be made oh see that and just cook it a little bit longer we don't want it to be too soft in the inside and there we are it might look burnt but it's not and it's delicious and it's so light well, um, that's it. This is a uh, thank you. Thank you for enjoying this. I hope you tried sometime. Delicacy from Botswana. Bye.